Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly or the mud, the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. I'm over here getting tongue tied. Uh, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Uh, go ahead and subscribe so that you can get the newest um, updates of the videos going up. We have tons of new spell videos coming through for you guys. All right, Scorpio, your first card here in regards to love and romance. We have the King of Swords. You may be dealing with air energy, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, or Libra. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month in regards to love and romance. Okay, we have the Strength card here. How are you guys doing, Scorpio? I hope you guys are doing amazing. You guys, you guys have cards popping out left and right we have the hermit card here okay okay one more all right let's do this your next card here is the three of pentacles the justice card the king of pentacles maybe dealing with libra energy earth energy taurus capricorn virgo we have the Three of Swords, the Prince of Cups, the Prince of Wands. Well, two, two pages here. And the Princess of Cups. Okay. A lot of communication that's going on. Um, a lot of communication that's going on for you guys uh, for the remaining of the month. Now, I do see here right at the center, you guys may be focused in career, finances, um, stability, Um with the justice card there may be like a partnership some type of marriage or commitment for those of you guys out there that are committed i see there's been a lot of i want to say lack of sexuality here uh someone could be feeling a bit disconnected uh for some of you guys um especially those of you guys that are committed or are married I feel that you guys have been going through a dry spell, perhaps not having a lot of, um, not having a lot of time to spend together, or perhaps not really nurturing the loving, the passion within the relationship. What they're saying here is you need to be careful, Scorpio, uh, especially if this is you on your end um, that just hasn't been feeling. And I understand a lot of the times, you know life everyday type of routine happens and we kind of forget to keep the spark going between our relationship and with our partner and what they're saying here is that there's been someone's not been taking care of business so this could be you or this could be your partner i see them really being detached or this could be you scorpio being detached however there is the three of pentacles here with the three of swords and we have pages here so what this is representing to me is Someone in the workplace may be either catching your eye, uh, flirting with you, um, or this could be your partner that's dealing with this. But what they are saying is, again, if you're really trying to, you know, keep, the, it's important, I should say, it's important to keep the passion going. Oftentimes, um, and I'm not making any excuse when people cheat, um, some have it in them, some people don't. But the fact of the matter is that we do have to put effort in a relationship. It's not just about attaining them. It's about after we attain them, maintaining that passion, maintaining that connection. And I feel that someone in this relationship or in this connection has not been doing that. So what they're saying is, again, um, be mindful about that. There is a need for you to put effort or there is a need for you uh, to keep the passion going, even if you have tons of things to do throughout the week, if you know your kids, etc. It's important to make some time. And if you can't do that, um, try to get someone as an example to watch your kids so that you can go out on a date night with your partner to keep that passion going. The reason why I'm saying this is because we do have here the justice card next to the king of pentacles, which is earthly bound. Um, the balance or the relationship is in balance and someone is being tempted to either step out of the relationship or to uh, be tempted to cheat. So again, I don't see it happening at the moment, but they are forewarning. They are putting it out there. They are saying, 
if you continue on this path of lack of sex for some of you guys, um, and if you do it as a form of like uh, teaching your partner a lesson or um, trying to manipulate whatever the situation may be, it's something that has to do with sexuality. Uh, and it's like, I'm taking it away because you've been misbehaving. Whatever that situation may mean, what they're saying is you're basically programming them um, and tempting them to step out of the relationship. Like I said, I'm not making any excuses for cheating or betrayal, uh, but sometimes we need to understand that cheating is not only on one part, meaning sometimes we kind of push the partner to do that. So it's about being mindful about that. Now, for those of you guys that are single and have been dealing with someone, I feel that they could be almost like very defensive towards you, uh, even mean-spirited or very sarcastic, very like sarcastic, smart-ass. Um, and I feel that the reason for that could be because they're either trying to attain you, meaning they're trying to uh, take it to the next level and have sex with you if you guys haven't had sex. For those of you guys that have, I feel that there is something that is connected here uh, in regards to lack of sex. And it could be the reason why they feel uh, or you may be feeling them a bit uh, aggressive or perhaps a bit cold standoffish because there is a need to maintain the passion. And I want to go as far as to say if you are dating, I feel like you're, the partner is losing interest because of lack of sex or because um, there's really not much of the passion that was once there. I feel it, you know, kind of um, slowly weathering. Um, so what they're saying is, again, and I feel that some of you guys could be because you're guarded. You have the Prince of Cups here with the Princess of Cups. So these are emotional cards. And this is, it, it's not just about, and I don't want you to think that it's just about the sex. It's a form of them connecting with, with you through sex on a deeper level. And I feel that that's what they're lacking at the present time. This could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. Uh, so again, um, it's about keeping the flame going, basically, especially for those, like I said, for those of you guys that are dating someone um, and there's been a bit of distancing or there's been a bit of uh, just not being as intense as it once was, uh, what they're saying here is that it has a lot to do with the fact that uh, perhaps you guys are not being open in regards to communication. Perhaps you guys are not being completely transparent. Um, this could be kind of like, well, I can't today. I have a headache. But in reality, there is a deeper issue going on either with you or with them uh, that is preventing them or preventing you from getting closer to your partner. Um, and again, we remove the sex out of the out of the table or out of the conversation. And it has more to do with them wanting to feel connected to you. Um, so again, uh, keep that in mind. All right, Scorpio, let's see what, so we have, I forgive you again. I feel that, you know, at this point they may already be aware. Like I said, if there is something within you that you kind of use sex as a form of manipulation, they understand what you're doing now. And that could be the reason why they're slowly pulling away. Uh, I forgive you could represent that they are aware of what's going on. And again, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it could be vice versa, you guys. Now, the next is, yes, it is too late. So again, I feel that this three of swords is not a, a present manifestation, but I feel that if you guys continue on the path that you're on, more than likely someone in this relationship or in this connection is going to be very tempted uh, to step out. Now, I do have you did not break me. Um, could represent that, you know, when we have arguments, um, when we have misunderstandings, it could be very easy for us to say things that we don't mean. Um, it could be very easy for us to just go on this spiral, uh, snowball effect of just, you know, trying to be as mean as possible to try to get our point across. And I feel that a lot of that has hindered this connection. A lot of there's a lot of resentment is what I'm sensing here. So again, um, if you, if it's you, Scorpio, that has been using sex as a form of manipulation, and I don't mean this in a, uh, like in a mean or nasty way to get something, although it is kind of like that. Um, it could just be, you know, a sense of 
if you're not feeling it, you make up excuses to why you can't uh, or why you're not feeling it right now. Um, and without really thinking or not really, you know, putting your partner's needs into consideration, and that is a form of manipulation because it's also kind of selfishness. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel that this may be uh, that they're becoming aware of that behavior. Uh, and that could be in the long run, it can turn into resentment. In the long run, it can turn into them being tempted and feeling like you guys are just not as connected as you guys once were, which makes the temptation a bit more difficult to resist. Let's see what spirits a direct message is here uh, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message that you want to get across for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation, Spirit gets? Okay. So we have, what number is this up? We have 22. These are decisions. You're at a turning point right now, Scorpio. So again, I feel that at the present time, this is a representation of a turning point. This is options. These are being at crossroads. And I feel that this relationship could potentially progress and become stronger or completely break. And the reason for that is going to be a lot of it has a lot to do with the decisions that you do moving forward in regards to are you considering your partner's uh, feelings, their needs, um, or vice versa? Are they considering that? Or are they being selfish? Are they the ones that are not wanting to connect with you on a physical aspect? Are they the ones that have kind of forgotten about maintaining the passion between you two? Um, regardless of what the situation is at, at, a, at this point, you guys are at crossroads and there is a need um, to take a different approach to be able to either strengthen the relationship or to get to the point where, like I said, they're showing here, there may be some type of temptation around. That's if it's they're not already experiencing that or you're not already experiencing that. All right, Scorpio. So I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. I hope you take the messages if uh, they connect with you. If they don't, don't try to force it. Um, but if you do feel connected to this message, um, remember to take matters into your own hands and try the best you can um, to not take it personal. Um, a partnership takes two people and it is about two people and understanding their needs and their desires and it goes both ways so again i hope that this gives you guys some type of insight okay we'll see each other soon bye